estar acá en la Argentina eh, por primera vez y ¿qué opinión tiene sobre su ídolo que fue el, es del Potro hacia Zambas? A ver qué puede contarnos sobre él y si cree que puede llegar a ser el número uno del mundo. What are your feelings about being in Argentina for the first time? And what do you think about the Potro? Uh, do you think he can be number one? Well, um, it's, it's possible. Uh, I've seen Juan play many times. Um, saw him in the US Open a few years ago. Got some bad luck with the wrists. Um, but he's very talented. He's on his way to get back into the top 10. And you know, number one is, is a lot of work. And you have to be a great player, but he's, he's on his way. Dice que lo ha visto uh, jugar al Potro varias veces, es muy talentoso, está tratando de volver a hacer top 10, pero llegar a ser número uno eh, requiere mucho trabajo. Sí, Pete, uh, aquí yo, uh, cuando te despediste estabas muy, muy emocionado, muy eh, agradecido también. ¿Extrañas el tenis, extrañas la competencia, el triunfo, el aplauso, todo lo que se vive en el circuito? When you gave up tennis, you were very moved, very touched. Uh, do you miss all the, the, the playing and the, the crowds cheering? Well, I, I, I miss certain parts of the year. I miss Wimbledon especially. I miss obviously the, the, you know, the majors, US Open. I, I miss those weeks, but uh, I do miss you know, some competition, but it is a lot of work. And um, I don't, I don't miss the stress. I don't miss the travel, but I, I do miss the majors. I think that's why we all played it was, it was to win that uh, big event. And um, but I'm very content, being retired, very happy. And uh, tennis is a tough sport. It's a lot of work. Dice que sí, obviamente que extraña algunas cosas. No extraña estrés, no extraña trabajo. Dice que es mucho trabajo estar en la lugares más altos, extraña los majors, está en el Kazán, pero está muy contento habiéndose retirado. Mirando hacia atrás en su brillante carrera, de todos los triunfos que ha conquistado, ¿cuál es el que cree hoy que ha sido el más importante? Looking back on your career, which is the match, the, 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 the match that you won that you look back on? But it's it's hard to pick one. Um, yeah, I mean it's. Um, um, you know, I think my last major was was very special. Uh, went through two years of not winning an event, struggling with uh, my game, my confidence, and to come from very very low when I lost the second round of Wimbledon on court two to winning the Open two you know two months later. I think that was more about. You know, playing great, it was more about my character to come through in a very tough time in my career, went down to me. Um, so I think my last major was sort of the most special. They're all special, but that one, I think, I think meant the most. Um, so. El último Grand Slam fue el más especial porque estaba con problemas de, de confianza, entonces, y jugando en una cancha secundaria. Entonces es difícil elegir uno, pero piensa que su último Grand Slam fue el más memorable. Sí, a Pete le quería preguntar eh, si él cree que se puede decir que es el mejor jugador de todos los tiempos o se puede comparar nada más por generación. ¿Y por qué cree que no pudo ganar Roland Garros si fue con mala suerte o porque se encontró siempre con alguien que, que pudo superarlo? Y por último, que cuente cómo es un día en su vida. Okay. Too many questions. Uh, first, uh, and can, do you think you can name, say that there's one, the best player ever, or do we have to choose one generation by generation? You know, it's a, it's a very, a very tough question to answer. Um, I, I think each generation has a player, and to say there is one greatest of all time is very, very tough to say. Um, you know, what Labor did back in the day was incredible. He didn't have the competition like we have today, what Roger has been able to do. Yeah. 
Dice que es muy difícil eh, decir uno el mejor jugador de todos los tiempos. Rob Laver antes podría haber sido uno de ellos. Ah, uh, no, so. Uh, you know what Rod has been able to do the last five, six years is is pretty extraordinary. I mean, uh, if you look at the numbers, and Rod was, you know, you can say Rod would be greatest, but Nadal is yet to finish with his career. I mean, it's listen. We could talk for 20 minutes about who's the greatest of all time. I just think each decade has a player. Um, so that's the way I've always answered that question. Is it good? Va a ser muy difícil contestar esa pregunta si uno mira lo que hizo Federer en los últimos años, es impresionante, ahora Nadal, así que es muy difícil eh, contestar esa pregunta. La segunda parte de la pregunta fue, ¿por qué crees que Nadal went en Roland Garros? ¿Fue que fue tan largo? ¿Fue que fue que fue que siempre te vio? Bueno, fue una combinación de muchas cosas, obviamente no crecí jugando en clay. Being in California, it was all hardcore tennis, and uh, that being said, I, I played quite well in clay. It certainly wasn't my surface. I didn't move as well. It slowed down my game a little bit. It was harder to serve volley, um, and I think, quite honestly, at the end, I felt a little anxiety because I want all these other majors moving up. It's like uh, the, the French became too much of a of an issue, and, and I didn't feel relaxed. I felt like I was always a little uptight, and as a result, I. I never won there. I had one good year where I got the semis, but um, it just wasn't good enough.